Yes, you're right. And the little prince is right too. You have to explain things over and over to grown-ups before we understand them. And sometimes we don't understand, right? But will you let me read? Tomorrow is going to be really cold. You need to bundle up. The little prince came from far, far away amongst the stars. He was very lonely and wanted to see all of the planets in the universe. His planet was as small as a house. Yeah, okay, or as big as a house. Why is he called the little prince? I don't know. What I do know is that he's just like you and all kids. You ask questions because you want to know everything. On his planet, the little prince has three volcanoes and a rose. The rose is his best friend. And do you know that a rose is a rose is a rose? <laughs> Never mind. When he came to Earth, the little prince made friends with a fox. Foxes are wild animals, yes, but he was lonely too. So he let himself be tamed. Then they could be friends. Like you and Paul. <laughs> Don't be mad. I think he's a nice kid. And he likes music too, doesn't he? I think the little prince would have liked our city. Although it's cold and pointy, it's also magical. Ah, by the way, don't forget to wear your woolly hat tomorrow. And definitely don't forget to bring your trumpet, okay? The little prince was right about one thing. The important things are invisible. And you have to look at them with your heart. Good night, my little princess. Sleep tight. Yes, I'll tell you the story again tomorrow. And every night we'll find something new. There's always something new to discover in this book, sweetheart. Welcome home. The Animals Observatory. <laughs>